The, the first thing that's important to me in, in life, whether it's as a professional or as a person, uh, is to never give up. I mean, there have obviously been circumstances in all of our lives where we run into uh, frustration, where we have bad things happen, where we uh, lose relationships or, God forbid, lose family. And the, the thing that I always try to find in a case for a family, for a client, uh, is hope. If there's a danger in evaluating the case on paper uh, and outside of the framework of the client because the danger is you begin to view and judge that person or that case or that client from the perspective of the paper instead of the person. You can't judge a person until you sit across a table from them and get to know them. Shortly after I joined the firm, I was asked to look at and participate in a medical malpractice case involving a 16-year-old girl who had uh, brain damage. And we were sitting in her house, uh, speaking with her parents, uh, and the girl was sitting off to the side, uh, listening. Uh, and you could tell that she was paying attention, but knowing what I knew about her injury, uh, I'm wondering whether she understood what we were talking about at all. And ultimately, at the end of that conversation, the parents uh, agreed that we should move forward. Uh, we all shook hands and by that point in the conversation we kind of had forgotten about the girl who was who the whole case was supposed to be about. And uh, I will never forget that as we were getting up to leave the house, uh, Michelle kind of grabs me by my sleeve and she looks me in the eye and she says, thank you for trying to help me. When a client finishes meeting with me for the first time, what I want them to walk out of the room with is confidence. Confidence that I know what I'm doing. Confidence that our firm has the resources to th see their case through, no matter what it takes. Uh, and finally, confidence that I'm gonna be brutally honest with them. That I'm gonna tell them about the strengths in their case. I'm gonna tell them about the weaknesses in their case. And I'm gonna tell them if and when it's time to settle or if and when it's time to move on and take the case to trial. But when that client leaves my office after the first meeting, they have confidence. They have confidence uh, in me and they have confidence in our firm. My wife is a, is a wonderful person. She has a law degree herself, so I don't get away with much. Uh, but at the end of the day, we've learned how to enjoy each other uh, and also enjoy the controlled chaos that you get with four young kids. We have a seven-year-old, a five-year-old, a four-year-old, and a baby boy who is almost two. Uh, so the house is full. Uh, there's lots of laughter. There's lots of shrieking. There's lots of uh, fighting. There are more dolls than you would ever think could exist in any uh, one home in the world. But fortunately, now we have a little boy, so some of those dolls and uh, makeup sets are tempered a little bit with uh, soccer balls uh, and footballs. What's unique about our firm and what's unique about the people who work here is that there's more to what we do than getting paid. What we do here goes beyond that and, and there are clients and causes that we've been able to pursue for people that have changed lives, that have protected people's futures. But there are also people here that, because of the law, because of the circumstances, that we can't help through a legal case. Uh, and we still try to help those folks to the extent that we can with their lives. Uh, whether I can represent somebody in a case or not, I can point them in the right direction for the care and support that they're going to need for their child because I've experienced these types of cases. I was the chairman of Ronald McDonald House Charities of Central Florida for a period of time, so I'm, uh, I'm deeply involved with that organization and know what it can do to support families who are in times of need when their children are getting medical care. So w whether we can get involved in somebody's case or not, we can still serve a role as, as, as counselors and friends. And if we can't help them with a case, we certainly help them try to find the resources to do the best they can moving forward.